What's going on y'all? Today I'm back with another 996 Turbo project. Check it out. So when I got the car, I don't know why, I think it started peeling. I think the last owner peeled everything off and just left it like this raw plastic. I thought I liked it, but it really looks like it just glows in the dark. So let me show you first off how to take this off. So this should be actually clipped in there. Basically what I did was I just popped this, popped, oh, popped this back here, come on. And then I pop this right here, pop this, pop that, and the entire unit should just kind of pull out. From there, I pulled this up and I took this piece off. I started at the open end of the U and started to work on these little pin things that hold it in. You can see them right there. I may have broken a couple. Um, like this one right here got stuck. This one right here got stuck. It might have been when they worked on it last. This is how it looks right now. This is the silver trim that used to be on there. And it looks like it all just bubbled and peeled. I'm sure this happens to a lot of other 996s. But I'm at the store today and I'm gonna find some paint for this. All right, I got my primer. Got my Rust-Oleum metallic finish right here. I was checking out the silver. I think this is gonna line up a little better. I was gonna go for, oh, for that right there, this Max Flex. But I think this is better. Gonna go with some 320 grit sandpaper and grab a super glue because you know I broke stuff. All right, bag secured. Let's get to work. We just made it home, and the first step is gonna be sanding. So I bought some 320 grit. Next, gonna hit it with some acetone. Next step. Primer. Number two. Decided to move it into the stairway because number one, it's really hot in there. Number two, there's zero ventilation whatsoever. So I was like, man, this is a rush. But here we are. That's after two coats. Looking pretty solid. Now we're gonna hit it with coat number three. After three coats of primer, it's looking pretty good. I think the third coat really did it. Now I'm actually gonna move on to metallic coat. Oh, this is gonna dry really nicely, y'all. I can see it already. That is coat number one. Oh, here goes coat two. All right, y'all, last step. We're gonna hit it with some clear coat from Rust-Oleum. I think this is gonna do the job and make this look perfect. Final coat, it should be good. We are back in the car. It's dry enough to touch and I think it looks pretty good. Check that out. Oh yeah, this is way better than the kind of glow in the dark look <laughs> that it had before. It goes pretty good with the other silver pieces in here. I'm really excited for this to actually fully dry and see how this looks and uh, this is gonna bug me. No, no, ugh. But okay, I'm gonna super glue this down so that it actually stays down because what happens is it clips into there and then it just like kind of, you can lift it back up and I don't like that. So I'm gonna put some super glue where I broke the tabs over there, the little pin things and hopefully this holds up. Okay, pro tip. Wait for it to dry, or else you'll get these little marks from your fingers. Uh, I'm just gonna let it sit for a little bit. But luckily, I was able to massage those little marks out for the most part. I think it looks pretty solid. I'm just so glad that it was hard enough to touch, but soft enough to like, kind of like rub back and forth. So here's the finished product. I'm really happy with it. Uh, I am in the garage right now, and this is like light for my LEDs. So I'm gonna take it outside. 
A few moments later. It looks great, honestly. I'm so happy with how they came out. Oh, yep, yep. Man, it's crazy what uh, $20 worth of paint can do. Honestly, I might sand this down a little bit right here, honestly. <laughs> it's looking like it had a little tiny bit of a run. And this is bugging me. So let's see how long I'll live with that for. So I ended up sanding this down with uh, some 320 grit sandpaper and it looks okay. Honestly, it looks a lot better than it did earlier. It feels so much smoother, which I'm really happy about. I think this needs a quick, maybe sand with like higher grit or something, but I am so happy. That was years worth of tarnish and everything, but it's good. One eternity later. Alrighty y'all, guess what? Something just came in the mail. For my interior and boom made in the usa and name and address withheld let's go open this up so these are all of my interior pieces right here check that out so we're going to be working on everything from adding wood to the left speaker mirror control speedometer hazard switch all this good stuff and i guess there's uh 28 pieces in here so ooh. let's keep unboxing and see what we come up on so here's the steps and install instructions alcohol prep pad oh that looks kind of good oh really nice. I think this is gonna match up with my interior really, really well. Look at that, it's a nice dark brown burl wood. Ooh, let's go install these. We're down to the car. This is what it looks like before. Okay, so I finished unboxing the first section over here. And here's the rest of it, check that out. I can't believe this is just a little kit off eBay. I think it looks amazing. It's not real wood, but I think I'm okay with that. I think it's gonna hold up really well. It feels like a nice like vinyl. Um, it's more flexible, which is nice. But let me put up a trim piece to my shift knob just to kind of show you all how it looks and how it's gonna look once it's done. Okay, let's take this one, for example. Nice brown burl okay I think it matches up pretty good okay we'll get to work then first I just want to kind of see how everything lines up though um, I have no idea what I'm looking at and this is probably one of those times where I should look at the instructions but hey oh well okay it's like adult puzzles kind of just figuring out where things are oh, that's gonna look so sick looking pretty good already look at that all the wood all the wood is matching up pretty nice look at that match all righty this is how far I got today so I realized I'm gonna need a heat gun for stuff like this it's sticking up um, and I need to curve it back in this is what it's looking like so far. Um, I think it matches up pretty good with the OEM wood. It's definitely a nice accent, and I'm excited to finish this up. So I'm gonna go back to my parents' place because my heat gun's there, and I'm just gonna finish this up. In the meantime, let's take a quick interior break because I have to show you something. So to celebrate when I get to 300 subscribers, I'm gonna be doing a raffle from my site, iscostudios.com, a link right here. And I'm going to be raffling off some pretty cool stuff. So first thing I'm going to be raffling here is these Porsche t-shirts. Keep in mind, this is Porsche with two O's. I'm going to be raffling off some hats as well. All that you have to do to get entered into this raffle is number one, drop a comment below. And number two, 
smash that like button. And I'm gonna raffle right when we hit 300, so this is gonna be a fun time. Anyways, y'all, thanks so much for watching. Let's get back to this interior. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're back. Got the rest of this. I did part of the install already, but I needed a heat gun. Alrighty, with that. Oh, okay. Let's check out what's left. Don't need that. Do need that. I think this is a trim piece for something. I'll figure it out. And as you can see, a bunch of random goodies. Oh, this is cute. Look at that, it's a little circle button. Cute. Don't really know what the rest of these are for. I guess we'll just start putting stuff in and uh, finishing up whatever's left. All right, I am so frustrated right now. This won't go down. It literally just looks like this. I've hit it with a heat gun. I've uh, I prepped the surface, obviously, and it just will not stay down. Like if I push this down, it'll just like curve back up. Or like if you push it up here, it'll lift that. So maybe there's just no way to make this piece work. And I'm gonna have to learn to live with that. That is annoying. Uh, oh well. All right, so the deeper I get into this kit, the more that I realize how frustrating it is and how none of the parts actually fit. So check this one out, for example. This one is supposed to line up here and go here, but literally it just wants to lift and move around and all this stuff. So it does not want to stay down. You know what? I think I'm just, I'm over it. Here's what I got so far. So I added the wood under the glove, had to cut it a little bit over here. Um, added this, this, all these, this, that, this, all this, all this, uh, right here, right here, and it goes all the way back there. And then I added oh, this, these around the uh, speedometer and uh, tachometer, whatnot. Yeah, I added these around the gauges, hazard, and then two above the speaker. This kit, it wasn't the best. I was this close to just raging and just ripping everything off because I was getting so frustrated. Uh, I was trying to use a heat gun, get everything like shaped and molded right. And it just, it can't, right? Like looking at this piece right here, it's lifting. I can literally slide my finger under it and that sucks. Uh, it doesn't look too bad from up here, so I'm just gonna leave it. This, in theory, works down here, but in actuality, when you turn the lights on, it makes zero sense. Um, it's covering like a few lights this way towards the left side, and it's kind of pointless. Uh, one thing that I'm actually really bummed about is this right here. This whole piece was supposed to be wood, and it just, I spent a good chunk of time trying to mold that in. And every time I pushed one down, it would lift the top, push the top, it would lift this. No matter how much heat I used, I was just, I was so frustrated that, you know what? I just called it a day right here, give it a little two-tone. Let me show y'all the uh, discard. And trust me, there's a lot. So, not this, that's worth something. Better than all this. But anyways, this right here is what I'm throwing away. So. This, uh, apparently it came with some stuff for the speakers. This right here for the um, the passenger side speaker is useless. They included a second trim for my center console. Don't know what to do with that. More speaker stuff, center console, or the AC vent, more center stuff. No idea what this is. This is it, y'all. This is all trash and stuff that I'm not gonna use and won't bother keeping. <sighs> but anyways, thank you all for watching. I think the interior looks better overall. I think it has a really nice kind of like, it, it just adds a lot of life back to it versus all just being this uh, Savannah beige. So this is the finished product. Don't mind the steering wheel. I think one of the last owners installed a different color wheel and it's been bugging me and it bugs me more now that the rest of the interior matches the Oxford is that Oxford Burl? Something like the dark burl wood or something like that. So, oh, this little cute thing right here too. All right, y'all, and just like that, we're done with the interior project. Like you saw, I did the paint around the shifter, I did the fake wood around the rest of the interior, 
and honestly can't complain too much. Right, I spent a couple bucks on paint, I spent less than $200 on all that vinyl wood, and I think it came out okay. Honestly, I would give the kit a solid seven out of 10 for how it really spiced up my interior and brought it back to some of its former glory. I guess I could have paid more and got actual like pieces that lined up a little better, but beggars can't be choosers. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, y'all, peace.